welcome back to Money and Your Life. We're here again sitting in this fantastic display home provided by our sponsor, Orbit Homes. Before the break, New Homes consultant Max DiBernardo helped me share some useful tips with our guests, Nathan and Sophie, as they plan to build their first home. Let's catch up with them to see how they've gone since our last meeting. Welcome back, Nathan and Sophie. Thanks, Chris. Hi, Chris. Max, welcome back as well. Good morning. Good morning. Nathan, Sophie, what's happened since we last met? Quite a bit. Um, <laughs> we've yeah, started to look into some houses um, through to all the display villages and um, really started to look into our finances and found a few things you like. Um, but yeah, I think the challenge there is trying to make sure that we can afford uh, what we're after. Yeah, so have you used those online calculators that I suggested earlier on? Yeah, we have. Um, yeah, we, we plugged all of our details in and found out how much like we can borrow and it seems to be quite a bit. So what we want to do now is just make sure that we can afford the repayments and not be making the most, like getting as much money as possible and just being realistic about it. Yeah, so don't overcommit yourself yeah. and again, they're a guide only. Um, the numbers that you see on those websites um, aren't final until you go through the full approval process. So taking pay slips and going through your interview process with your, your finance company. Yeah. But obviously again, just be mindful that that's not what you're going to get. So don't go and go and look at that double story home that Max suggested earlier on <laughs> and then walk out and go, oh, you can't get it because you're $50,000 short. Yeah. yeah. Max? Well, since our last meeting, uh, have you put those uh, tips that I suggested to you into useful use? Yeah, definitely. We've um, gone out to visit some display homes and um, we've uh, yeah definitely used all those tips to start asking a lot of questions and finding out about what we're after. Yes, you're picking um, their brains. Yes, yeah. yes good. And good. being a lot more specific with our questions of as course. well, instead of just saying, mm -hmm. oh, what's this going to cost? We ask what the um, hidden costs are and it's important. what the extras will yes. cost us. It's and important that you stuff. ask hidden costs, rock allowance, fixed price contract, standard inclusion of what you are, what you're not going to get for the amount of dollars that you're paying. It's extremely important that you know all of those answers yeah. prior before you sign on the dotted line. Yeah. Yep. It makes us a lot more realistic with what we can get as well and knowing that when you walk into these amazing display homes, that's not what is included. What you see is not what you get. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <Yes. Absolutely. laughs> Yeah, and I assume when you went and visited these display homes, you would have seen fencing, trees, grass. Landscaping, concrete, fancy furniture. Mm. Fancy Keep away furniture. from that. <laughs> yeah, so so all that's very all costly. excluded. Yep. So just be mindful. And Max, what else is excluded usually from building a house? And how much money should you know, a new couple building in their home put aside for such things such you, as that? You would be surprised, but anything between thirty to $50,000 are just going to tick. Okay. Because you're looking at fencing, concrete, landscaping, outdoor living, furniture, blinds, curtains, down lights, air conditioning. A lot of those um, inclusions items are not included on the price that the consultant will give you as soon as you walk in. Yeah. Those are the questions you need to ask. Why am I getting as per display? What are yeah. your standard inclusions? What are not your standard inclusions? Then you've got to allow anything up to $20,000 on site costs. It's important. Rock and lounge is a main issue at the days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, as an example, your online calculator said yeah, you can borrow 500 Yeah, take 10% off. Always be safe and conservative. So, say you're left with 450 and take $50,000 away for other expenses, you know, you're looking at a house for about four hundred. So don't go to the five hundred mm -hmm. um, and have that in the back of your mind when you go and commit to something like that. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yep. Has anything else changed in your life since we last met? Uh, yes. <laughs> we, um, we got engaged. Yeah, we got engaged. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How did you propose, Nathan? <laughs> uh, sort of low key. We went for a nice walk and um, yeah, we uh, just sort of stopped in a park and had a sit down and yeah. So it wasn't in one of the orbit display homes? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Max wouldn't give me the keys. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, wedding, how long away is it going to be? Probably looking uh, in 2014, we really like um, both April and November as months of the year. Tend to get good weather, but we are in Melbourne. So uh, yeah, looking for around then and... Um... But Nath wants to get a house first, so that's the priority at the moment is to look at that. So let's put a strategy in place. Yeah, Max? definitely. Sooner than how long, how long do they need to put the house together? Um, you're looking between six to ten months. Okay. You're going to twelve, pending on the land. 
Like I said earlier, it's important that you find a flatter block of land. The flatter, the better. Okay. okay. Yes. Well, good luck with the wedding, guys, and uh, hope good luck with the new home as well. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good luck. Max, appreciate the support. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Max. Max. Thank you. On behalf of our sponsors, Nathan and Sophie, we'd like to provide you some gifts for coming on the show and sharing your story. Great, thank, thank you. you. This week, the check, the Money in Your Life check is valued at $3,110. Wow. Oh, and you. it's made up of a number of products and services. The wow. first one is some gift vouchers from Not Quite Right, so you can go shopping on their behalf. Thank you. Thanks. We've got a care card which assists you to save some money on everyday incidental expenses. Thank you. So there's Sounds the card great. for you. We've got a financial plan from Choice Financial Advice. Wow. Thank you. Well, at two and a half thousand dollars. Awesome. And a smile.com.au dental care membership. Valued at hundred dollars for you as well. Great. Thank and you. And lastly, you. when you do buy your new home, you've got a lazy patch suit for you both. So, <laughs> well, well, awesome. Nathan, we're not going to give you a pink one. <laughs> Save this one for you. Thank you. Thank you. And that should keep you warm during winter. Oh, it's really crazy. That's it for today. To find out more information about the show, with a breakdown of each episode, including behind the scenes photos, please visit moneyandyourlife.com.au. Remember to stay in touch and keep up to date with the show, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'll be back next week to help another family navigate through another real life challenge. I'm Chris Bondon, see you then. Mm -hmm.